busy doing his stream tag. Right. So we got some Santa Barbara locals, Jake Peskin and Tuhiba, versus Aya and my mom. Oh, mom. Not, not actually my no, mom. Not, not your mom. Maybe his mom, right? I guess. Maybe. maybe doesn't look like a mom. I mean, you never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So. Oh, oh, mom just got slapped. <laughs> Oh, and Marsh could have survived there, but you know, sometimes you think you make it and you scan. Yeah, exactly. A double Fox, uh, pretty kind of tough team for the, for Sheik Marth, right? They can't yeah. really keep Fox off of them. Yeah, dude. Can't be real tough. Oh, oh, you're good, dude. You're good. Ha all right, all right. You'll, you'll be on deck. Yeah. So you'll be on deck. Oh, you're good. You're oh, good. Who's the Sheik? The Sheik player is going ham. Um, the, so the Sheik is Jake Peskin, oh. and he's he's good. He's a Santa Barbara local. Um, he he was a freshman when when I was at Santa Barbara. Okay. Because I transferred in. But uh, yeah, dude, he's he's gotten better. He just does his Sheik thing. Yeah, he did. So he did a lot of Sheik things there. And I think Akiva's Caleb, right? Yeah, Akiva's yeah. Caleb. Yeah, or was, uh, he, Akiva, yeah. He was doing a really good job of uh, like protecting the, the edge when Jake, Jake was doing his thing, which is really nice. Yeah. It's a nice touch for Mark. He actually can hold the ground really well against people, right? Yeah, dude. Like you were doing earlier. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> oh, when I was four smashing everybody, <laughs> literally everybody. the whole planet, <laughs> just like. <laughs> oh, oh, that was almost amazing. Oh, oh, okay, that was wow. good. Suddenly, red even sucks. Yeah, teams. yeah, that's double fox, right? Like, I don't know. The team is just that ridiculous. Where like, even if they're a few stocks behind, I feel like, oh, you know, they got two shine spikes. <laughs> I guess it's an even game now. Yeah, they can cop off each other's throws. Yeah. I feel like Jake Peskin, he's actually kind of, so it's really cool to see Akiva, he's spacing right outside of Sheik's stuff most of the time. Yeah. So no matter what, you know, Jake Peskin still can do his thing, and you know, Akiva's there for the, the backup, and he's also zoning, which is nice. You can tell that they've teamed together a lot, because they definitely, like, seem like they have a flow. Yeah. And, and they're not really getting in, in each other's way, like, too much. Absolutely. That's really hard to do. Yeah, especially with, like, she Sheik and Marth, they have, like, big hitboxes, right? Yeah. So it's tough. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. The box seems, you know, they're, they're having some trouble finding their way through both their boxes. You know, yeah. So it's, it, it can be tough. Cool. But, you know, box to a team, definitely not out of it. Yeah. Never out of it. Like you said, two up smashes, two shines. Yeah. Anything can happen. Anything. Ooh. Oh, okay, I like that. Ooh. So, Whoa. wow. That was incredible. Wow. So, did you see what, uh, what Akiva did there? I keep wanting to call him Caleb. Yeah, uh, I know, right? Because I, yeah, I, I, Caleb. I met him as Caleb. Too. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but, like, he, he knocked down the fox, right? And he had a clear option to just, like, tech chase him and grab him and, and do, do Mart stuff. But instead, he noticed that the other fox, you know, he was trying to recover. So, instead, he just decided to help Jake and just go forward and forward smash him and just yeah. edge guard him. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like um, a lot of people, right, they'll play doubles, but. They'll miss opportunities to two on one, like the other team. Yeah, yeah. Instead, they'll go for like an edge guard on one person if they think they can get it, but that's a lot less guaranteed. Right. And when the person's trying to recover, right, you can just two on one the other like guy. Like that. Yeah, exactly, like yeah. that. So like that. I think they had, in that situation, they had a little trouble. It looks like um, uh, Kiva wasn't sure when to go in. Yeah. Because it looks like the Sheik's the aggressor in this team. Yeah, definitely. You know, more so than, uh, than Akiva is, but you know. It, they worked. They worked it out. They took game one, dude. They did. They took it. It was pretty solid. Yeah, pretty pretty well done. Well done. Right. On for a bigger stage. Um, this, we you know we talked about this too when we were playing, but it also it kind of forces the the slower characters. Uh, screen team. But they're further apart, so it's harder to help each other as much. Whereas Fox, yeah. he can almost instantly get there, right? Right. Right. Oh. Okay, so they're both one on one right now. Yeah. Happens a lot in doubles. And. It's like kind of even. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Curse? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Jake was getting the better of the other guy, but the other Fox guy was getting the yeah. better of uh, Caleb. Akiba. Quick Akiba. turnaround. Why, why is this tag Akiba, dude? Uh, it's like so hard to say and remember. I keep wanting to say Akiba or like Caleb. A uh, uh, Caleb? I'm just gonna call him Caleb. <laughs> okay, okay. For, right. Forget this Akiba nonsense. <laughs> yeah. uh, so blue team, you know, they they, ball, they want both one v one somehow. Um, you know, there was like some things happened, and then there was a shine spike, and there was an edge guard. So yeah. Green team's trying to call their way back in, and they're not fully out of it yet. Right? They're over eight percent. 
But you see, two teams having a little more trouble with like the structured play. They have setups where you know, they can do like a quick two v one combo. Um, yeah. Or set you know, set up some damage or something like that. But if you put that slap though, how, how do you do this, Mark? What do you do? The slap hurt. Oh, the slap hurt around the world, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. So. Jake finally got a couple edge guards because I noticed he was definitely missing some earlier. Right. But uh, he's, he's starting to pull together a little bit. Okay, he's punishing a uh, whiff up smash and oh. yeah, see, okay, that was good. But yeah. he was just the fox was just too low a percent, right? He could recover a little easier. Jake was also a little hesitant there. Uh, yeah. he, he waited to get that fair. He could just fall in the fair. Yeah. So, but it's still like it's still not as not as like not hugely. Oh no, it's it's a uh, it's pretty even I'd say. And okay, okay yeah. yeah, Jake gets a uh, easy back there. Oh, and tips. Yeah, and so Jake, he knew that um, he was gonna go for that, so he just waited. He's like, okay, right. teammates got this. Knock him off stage. If not, then I, I'll get the edge guard. Whatever. But look at Oops! Look at Oops' dash dance though. Look at oh, his dash ooh, dance ooh. right now. Oh. He scared Jake, but didn't get a punish. Yeah, I'm liking that dash dance. Oh, oh, oh yes, yeah, he. A little greedy. A little greedy. I feel like his edge guards haven't been super clean. That was really nice though. That was one of those yeah. like really weird ramen noodle punishes. Yeah, kind of yeah. He's he's trying to force it a little bit, and when it works, it works great. When it doesn't work, it's like oh. oh. And then again, and slaps. Oh, yeah. He, he's got that that down the slaps. Fox, they've been, they've been kind of recovering that same way a couple times. So yeah. But it worked for them, right? So why why change it until they until they die? Right, exactly. Or you condition them to make them always do that and be like, you know, they're going to do it again because I haven't punished them yet, right, so right, right. I'm going to cover that option this time. Well, they had that incredible strength back on cheap. There's no other no time for the up It's hard. She's invincible for a good portion of it. Oh. Oh, and back air. Oh, see, Caleb was too slow there. He, he, he hesitated at the ledge. He could have just dropped in back air. Yeah, he should have trusted his teammate a little more there, but he wasn't sure what was happening on stage. So. Yeah. That's that's kind of quick decision making you have to make in teams, right? But this is super even. I mean, blue team has a bit higher percent, but green team has stage control here. It, you know? it, it's hard for, for, for green team to get like, the kill hits, right? I don't even know what just happened, dude. It looked like he, he forward smashed him into a spike. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh. That's rip. I think that's rip, dude. A fox can definitely pull it out, but I mean, he's real high percent. Yeah, it's, it's and the, the difficulty with kill moves doesn't matter as much here because oh. Oh. that recovery. All right, I'm liking the dash dance though. You know, he hasn't given up yet. They're both like kind of oh. the edge guards here, but I think they're both like, eh, we got it, whatever. You can tell the team gets nervous when like they're both like trying to do the edge guard yeah, at the yeah. same time, and yeah. they're not like designating, you know. Because they're designating, <laughs> they're designating great earlier, right? Like during during the actual game, they're just like, oh well, all right, I'm gonna grab ledge, and the other guy just ran and like did the edge guard, and it was it was fantastic. But yeah. at the end, they, you could tell they wanted to close it out, they wanted to end the game, so it was like, oh, we're both gonna go for it, and somehow they didn't hit each other. It worked. It worked somehow. Somehow. somehow.